I present to you the Mullet Mobile. Okay, let's be honest, that's sick as hell, okay? If I were, like, going to the Oscars or something like that, I'd have this dude drive me up. I'll be sitting in that bed like a king. Road Crew Customs Cold Air Intake. That... <laughs> Look, does it work? I'd have to assume no, right? It can't, right? Peanut butter jar lamp scratched up to soften light with one watt LED bulb. I guess. Reduce, reuse, recycle? Entry level redneck engineering. Well, that's just gonna fly right out when you're on the highway, right? There's no way. The new Mad Max is being filmed in Alaska. Oh, oh, I thought you were being serious for a moment. Good God. Nice custom job, my guy. At least it may work. Well, maybe. Well, <laughs> they, they drove past a U-Haul, saw the ad that said, any car can tow, and then took that very seriously. The cement-filled barrel used as a counterweight. Eh? If it's stupid and works, it can't be that stupid. Old battery life was like 30 seconds. This is now on for a month and still working. God damn. Okay. Th the ingenuity is off the charts today. I know it's redneck engineering, but still. Reused a broken USB drive to fix a broken mouse cord. I would... How do you people do this stuff? We call it redneck engineering, but in reality, it's just... Wow, you're smarter than I am. The Coolinator Chair. <laughs> hey, look. Again, I'm gonna be saying it a lot. Does it work? That's pretty sick. Although I imagine those would get very loud. Witnessed this setup to deal with roof leaks at my local Old Navy. Huh. Well, honestly, though... That could be way dumber. I mean, imagine if they'd literally just put the buckets underneath a drip. You're gonna get water everywhere still with how tall those ceilings are. They're making sure no water gets down, huh? Homemade contour gauge for a flooring object? Uh, oh, okay, okay, wait. This mofo might be onto something, right? Found this in my school. Does this count as redneck engineering? Uh, <laughs> wow. Um, yeah. I think this is the true spirit of redneck engineering right here. They really just couldn't reconnect it, right? I'm confused. My neighbor made this snow plow to clear his driveway. What the, what the f*** am I looking at here? New house came with a custom Lego doorbell. Never get rid of it. It will always treat... Oh, come on. That's some nice cooling system you got there. Honestly, I have always always wondered how efficient it would be, especially during the winter, during the winter. Make sure you got some filters in these freaking intakes and out outtakes. <laughs> I have wondered how efficient it would really be to hook up the intake fans to, say, the ice-cold air outside and turn that into heat for your room when you're gaming, you know? Like, that would have to be kind of good, right? Probably not. I'm crazy. No idea what this is, but oh boy, the neighbors are gonna hate when I buy it. Oh, you're one of those neighbors. Gotcha. Just a bit of extra room. Oh my good god. You know, props to people for making an extension this large that honestly doesn't look that messed up. It truly doesn't look as terrible as it should. It's not great, but I'm still impressed. But he found this in one of his units. That's new, I must say. Tailgate? Nah, it's a door now. Oh, I've seen this one a lot. It is just... This one is awful. Good lord. This put a quick stop to the guys who were carelessly dribbling on the floor of our office restroom. <laughs> Nice. Uh, once they figure out it's fake, though, it, it's over. They're gonna start pissing on the floor again like children. I made a Dance Dance Revolution pad for my PS2, and it worked. Damn, okay. Save some gals for the rest of us, all right? No, that is sick, though. I don't know how you do that, but damn. It's an emotional goodbye to these lovely handmade laptop stands that have served me so loyally for the past two years. Goodbye. Whiskers laptop. That's actually sick, though. <laughs> I mean, honestly, work with what you got. These people, way smarter than me. I'd just go, oh, what do I do? Nah, these people are ingenious, okay? Me stupid, they clever. Pencil sharpener. Well, that is one way to do it. Ain't no lie. It's a little complicated, though, a little tedious, but you got the spirit. What in the Facebook marketplace? Duh. How much are they selling it for? Let me guess, $20,000, no lowballs, they know what they got. My record player had issues with skipping, but this seemed to solve it. That's not smart. I wouldn't, uh... The way they repaired this telephone pole outside of my work. <laughs> That's what they call a repair? Can this even be considered a porch or a deck? I don't know what the hell that could be considered. Dude, at that point, get rid of the door or give it some stairs. I need to pull over. My mirror is at 2%. <laughs> yeah, that's the type of fix you use one time to go get it repaired, right? 
That's not something you just leave there. Daughter was missing a little reach on her new tricycle. She's smarter than I am. I know she didn't do this herself. You know what I'm... Never mind. Fixed my glasses frame for now until I get it fixed for real. Why not just keep it that way? Seriously, the more messed up your glasses appear to be and the more self-repaired they clearly are, the more magical you will become. Eventually, you'll become a, a wizard of books and knowledge, right? You'll be that kooky bookstore owner or crazy librarian that helps a child on his dragon quest or some crap like that. Master level redneck. Damn, that is, uh, <laughs> I gotta zoom in here real quick. Wow, that's, that's something, all right. I gotta admit, my dad's setting up the rental car. What? <laughs> okay. Doesn't have Apple CarPlay, I guess. Unfortunate. Someone on Discord shared their repair. Oh my god. Uh, sure, man. I found on Facebook Marketplace. $1,100? I'm sorry, dude. I can see how you would think it's worth some money. Like, eh, I put this piece of shit together with spare garbage. How about 100 bucks? Totally fair. But, man, you marked it down from 1500 I don't know what these... They do make bikes like this. I've seen them before. You can rent them at hotels and resorts and whatnot. No way in hell that even the good ones would cut. They probably cost like $10,000 if I'm being completely fair with you, but no, come on. It's grounded, all right. Oh my actual Christ. Feast your eyes, my brother's gaming chair. Oh, can your brother clean up a little bit more? Maybe wash the pillow? This is a new chair at my school. That is not new. Absolutely not. My current setup is I wait for Reddit to explain to me how to get Sawzall out of a tree. Oh, oh, the hell'd you do? Rate my setup. Okay, this is definitely interesting. Left-handed, even more interesting, because the you know, left-handed people just don't exist. They're not real, remember? They're not real. We've talked about this. But I do love how you have this little piece suspended from the damn windowsill. That's, that's amazing. Good on you, though, dude, for real. Um, you might want to tidy up the room a little bit more. You kind of got shit everywhere. That's just me, though. That's coming from me. My place is always squeaky clean aside from dust because... You can't do anything about dust. A makeshift go-kart, fun for the whole family. I'll be real with you. I always wanted to make a go-kart. I thought that would be really fun back when I was a kid. However, I wouldn't make one that has the stability of a goddamn unicycle. Bed too short? Here at Billy Bob's Customs, we've got you covered. Oh my God. <laughs> I've been on the rant before that modern trucks are garbage and their beds can't carry jack shit. They can tow. Oh, they can tow for sure. For days, dude, no problem. But a bed that's like four feet long, hell, even five feet long, unacceptable. If it's not at minimum six feet, I don't want your truck. I'll get a minivan. Same damn thing. Indonesia engineering. How secure is that really? I hope this counts. I snapped this picture at my local auto garage and the owner was quite proud. Oh my God. Look, I can see why the owner would be proud, but I would not get on that thing. One turn that's a little too tight and oops. Marketplace never lets me down. A 2023 Ford Bombardier Snowcat. No. Modern problems require modern solutions. That is a solution. I'll give you that. Blurst parking space. That's pretty funny though. That that wasn't redneck engineer. That was seriously custom made. One lighter is out of spark and the other's out of gas. Combine the two and what do you got? I am rarely speechless. What the hell am I looking at? Is that a is that supposed to be a smoker or something like that? What? <laughs> Spent 22 lo long rifle? Is that right? Casings work perfect when you run out of butt connectors. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Cat kept kicking his splint off. Problem redneck resolved. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's the Carolina squat that really ties the look together. What's a Carolina squat? Is that just where they lower the suspension on the rear? Because it sure do look dumb as hell. But hey, look at the truck bed. That's better. Couldn't find the sanding block, but did find the staple gun. Well, that's, that's fine, though. I don't see the problem with this. Honestly, smart. Anti-theft device. <laughs> I guess, yeah. But if they're really, truly gonna steal a rig this large, I don't think they give a shit about the wooden block. No fork, no prob. Carpenter chopsticks. 
I don't know about that. There's a lot of graphite in those tubes of wood. I don't think that they're going to harm you, but, you know. The piece of an eraser that I cut to fit my window switch so my dog would stop randomly rolling down the window. But that's smart, though. Actually, you know what else is smart? The driver has a window lock function button. I'm pretty sure every car with electric windows for the past, like, 25 years has had a window lock where only you can control all of the windows, but it turns off all the other switches. So that's one way. Secret garage door switch on my client's house? Oh, that looks a little f***ed up. Mmm, yeah. Me and my friend make this the Jankmobile. I mean, made this. With brakes that are worse than the current school system and a Toyota Tacoma Performance Air intake duct taped onto it. But that seems sick as hell. And I wouldn't mind giving it a go. It's better than that last go-kart we saw. My friend needed a temporary bridge for his base, and Legos did the trick. That's kind of sick, though. The fact that it worked even for a moment. Redneck engineering at a Thai restaurant in Florida. Oh. Feast your eyes on this Florida beauty. Holy hell, there's no way a cop wouldn't pull this guy over. No way that he would get pulled over and they're like, all right, go on, I guess. That's gonna kill somebody. It's not gonna endanger them, it's gonna kill someone else. It's like that Top Gear episode where they made their own caravans. Just because you can weld a thing doesn't mean you should weld a thing. Oh God, it's another one of these. This one's a lot dirtier than that first one. That Land Rover or whatever we saw. This can't be up to code. You are 100% right, there is no way that it is. And someone should probably report it? All hail Jethro, the third king of the trailer park. I mean, kind of sick though. Ball joint on the mower gave out, and I remembered I had trampoline springs in the shed. Again, y'all are a lot smarter than me. I would have to go, oh, now I gotta wait three weeks for a guy to come out and fix it, or go buy a new one. Plumber can't fix our tub drain until Monday. But the downstairs drain works, and the laundry shoots right there. Turns out a three-quarter inch garden hose siphons water out at the same rate our shower head puts in. Again, you just smarter than I am. Found on Marketplace. I'd whip it. Dude, that's sick as hell, though. Rolling up to the red carpet in this beast? Yes, please. I thought the good people of Reddit needed to see this beauty. I spotted frequenting the trap house on my block. Best description of make and model wins. Ooh, okay. Let's see. Let's see. This is... Oh, it's gorgeous. You see... Judging from its build, I would assume it's an early 2000s Mustang of some kind, maybe? That was in super, super terrible cosmetic shape, but it ran, so the guy got it working as best he could, and here we are. I'm probably wrong, it could be like a 90s Ford Taurus that got destroyed. I mean, I don't know. It's hard to tell, but I assume it's a Ford of some kind from the late 90s.